under which we had made a model on science in waste management. I had, I had performed on this yesterday at my school and today I wanted to share it with all of you. So at first, this topic is very near to the heart of our Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi. For this, we had visited the site Antony Lara and Virus Solutions at Kanjurma, which is spread over 118 acres and 70 to 80 percent of the land is used for processing. This is some glimpse of our visit. At first, the, all the waste which is produced at our buildings is taken from the garbage van to the MRF plant. This MRF plant is material recovery facility. The machine just looks like this. At first, all the waste is put on a common conveyor belt, something like this. After which there is a vibrating belt over here where lighter products go up and heavier products come down which are paper products go up and containers come down. After which there is human labor which pick up huge pieces of recyclables. After that magnetism is used in this plant to attract iron objects and repel other metallic objects which do not attract on magnetic force, thus separating everything. Then glass and plastic are separated because they have different weights. Here air is blown so that the plastic can fly over this place and come on another conveyor belt and from here the glass falls in this container. Then. There are infrared lights which detect plastic and with a gush of air, the plastic is pushed on another conveyor belt. Thus, everything gets separated and we get recyclables, organic waste and other waste. After which, organic waste is brought to this windrow compost plant. Here, the, in this plant, the waste is lined up and these lines are known as windrows. The waste is churned periodically using a machine like this so that all the waste gets exposed to the air and the bacteria in it can react faster as the more of oxygen is present and we, the waste gets moisture. The machine works like this. The temperature of the windrows and the moisture needed for each windrow is controlled from the control room where there is a where there is a computer screen like this in which it can detect which windrow needs the temperature to be changed and which windrow needs air to be sucked or blowed. After 28 to 30 days the compost is ready but has a lot of moisture which needs to be dried up. So it is brought to the drying area and using the blowers below it, air is blown so that the moisture gets ab absorbed. After getting dried, it has small plastics and papers which need to be separated before selling it off. So it is put in a trauma. This trauma has a sieve of 1 mm from which the compost gets collected at one end and the waste gets collected at one end. The machine just looks like this and the machine works like this this is the final compost work. this is the compost form this compost has no foul smell as it is there in the waste and even has an earthly smell this is far more better than a chemical fertilizers like urea this is a biological fertilizer and is packed using this machine. <laughs> and sold off to villagers and farmers for their farmlands. Next is the bioreactor. In this, it is a type of dumping ground but not a proper dumping ground. 
in this there are layers below them and this is compressed using these machines so that <laughs> the waste gets compressed and hardened because these machines cannot stand on weak hills it is compressed and when it is compressed there is leachate which is uh, let out this leachate is very poisonous and can on drinking just half a glass of it a person can die on the spot so it cannot be let to go down and mix with the ground water as it will contaminate whole ground water so it goes through a landfill cross section something like this where there is a compacted MHW which is municipal solid waste then there is a 1 meter min compacted select waste and then is 300 GSM non woven geotextile 300 mm gravel <coughs> drainage layer 800 GSM non woven geotextile smooth HDPE of geomembrane reinforced GCL 300 mm compacted sub base and compacted subgrade the layers of it look like this where there is a fil the layer first layer is something like a filter paper under which there is a layer of big granules under which there is a layer of small granules then a layer of sand and the geotextile layer which is some or more our like our nappies will suck all the leachate and don't let the leachate go under it so that it reaches the groundwater. then using these pipes the leachate is sucked out some of it is processed and some of it is again put to the landfill because it has a lot of bacteria which accelerates the process of decomposition the process of 15 years is fastened to the pro till two five years after which this is the leachate pond in this leachate pond all the leachate is collected from this from this leachate pond leachate is put to the screening chamber in this there is a sieve of one centimeter so that one the big leaves get separated and leachate gets separated then this leachate is taken to the oil separation tank here oil settles up and this leachate settles down as because of their difference in their densities oil is extracted from up and from down the leachate is transferred to the other tank this is the sedimentation and decantation tank here the dust particles settle down and from up the leachate is put to the anaerobic culture tank here anaerobic culture means culture without oxygen is added to purify it after which it goes to the aeration tank here oxygen is added because the chemicals in which which are COD and BOD are chemical oxygen demand and biological oxygen demand here chemical reaction with need, need oxygen are demanding for it and when drunk it sucks all the oxygen from our body thus being poisonous after adding oxygen the number of CODs and BODs reduced to 2000 20,000 to 25,000 from 45,000 to 40,000 then is the final tank which is the aerobic tank here aerobic culture means culture with oxygen is added to further purify it and then the difference of leachate is this black water is purified so much that the number of CODs and BODs reduced to 200 to 250 and the color changes to a bit yellowish. This water is not portable but it can be used for washing of vehicles and for gardening. There are a lot of gardening because or to control the odor of garbage so that the surrounding area does not get does not get affected. These are some of the plantations. This is the difference. This is raw leachate while this is clean leachate after the, all the processes. I think you all understood the processing unit at Kanjurma which is processing all the waste to a better use than wasting it and just dumping it in the dumping ground. Thank you. For more videos visit DJ Labs.